All right, in this video, we're talking about fluids and how they exert forces onto objects. Um, we'll be talking about three main principles that kind of tell us how fluids behave and, and uh, how they exert forces. Those are going to be Archimedes' principle, Pascal's principle, and Bernoulli's principle. Um, if we look up the definition, this is straight off of dictionary.com, the definition of a fluid. Uh, most people just think that it is a liquid, but in fact it can also be a gas. So if we're talking about fluids, um, just kind of you're going to have to kind of change your definition of a fluid. It's a liquid or a gas. Um, this is a pretty good definition. Um, it says liquid or gas that can flow, has no fixed shape, um, and offers little resistance to an external stress. The only part that I don't agree with necessarily is offers little um, resistance to external stress because if we actually put a fluid into a confined space or a container like a bottle or something it can actually provide um, a lot of resistance to external stress and we, we noticed that whenever we did the egg crush in class tried to crush that crush the egg um, so let's get started talking about these principles real quick so Archimedes principle uh, it tells us that the buoyant force on an object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. So in this case, um, we have buoyant force. Buoyant force is how much a liquid or fluid, in this case, uh, is actually exerting a force back onto that object. So if we had something like what's going on here, the water is actually pushing up on to, so it's pushing up on that object. Um, if the Archimedes principle also tells us if the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the object, it's going to float. If the buoyant force is less than, that should say, the weight of the object, then it's going to sink um, in that case. So um, if we know buoyant force, and we find that by how much fluid the object displaces. So if we set an object in the water, it's going to push water out of the way and you see this little tube here we can actually let it drain out into this cup and if we measured how much fluid it actually pushed out of the way that would be equal to the buoyant force and so if it's less than the buoyant force it floats if it's more than a buoyant for force it's going to sink in that case um, the next principle we talked about is Pascal's principle this tells us that pressure applied to a fluid is transmitted undiminished throughout the fluid. So undiminished, uh, meaning that it's, it doesn't change. So however much pressure you apply to it, um, once it's transmitted through that fluid, it doesn't, it's not going to be less at the end or anything like that. Um, it doesn't change throughout that fluid. Um, whenever we did the egg crush in class, so we had to apply pressure on all sides of the egg with our bare hands. So we are applying pressure all the way around. So on the outside, we're applying pressure. So inside the egg, we have, it's a raw egg. It has fluid on the inside. So it is exerting that force back onto the inside of the shell, which makes it really hard um, for us to crush that egg. Um, on the jack, the way that one works, so we looked at a hydraulic jack. This is kind of a diagram of the inside. So you would apply a small force over here, um, and it's going to travel through that fluid and it's going to be pushing in all directions but if it's in a container um, it's going to find the point where it has the least resistance and can actually push up so you can have a really big object on this side because it is multiplied by the weight of this oil so the more oil or liquid fluid that you push apply that pressure through the more it's going to multiply that force on the other side so that's how a hydraulic jack uh, works. So we have a small force on this side and it creates a big force on this side because it's multiplied through that fluid. Um, so that's Pascal's Bernoulli's. So let's erase this here. Bernoulli's principle is you can do some cool things with this. We did some cool things in class. We did the hair dryer or the ping pong ball on the hair dryer. So you can see how that works. We also did the um, ping pong ball on a string so it gets kind of sucked into that water and so we can use Bernoulli's principle to explain how those two things work. So Bernoulli's principle simply tells us 
as the velocity of a fluid increases, pressure exerted by that fluid decreases. And so if we look at the hair dryer here, so as the air is blowing up on the ping pong ball, so it's going around, kind of around the ping pong ball on all sides, well right in this little channel here, around the ping pong ball, we have fast moving air, so we have a low pressure area. So every time it tries to move out of that low pressure area, you have the stagnant air that's kind of sitting there and you have high pressure areas here so it pushes it back so you can see it pushes it back into that low pressure area all the way around same thing with this you have a, a liquid here that's moving fastly around it so we have low pressure area we have high pressure areas around it keeping it in place kind of creates a little vacuum there so that's Bernoulli's principle Okay, so we do have um, some practice problems for you guys to do. We have a formula that goes along with Pascal's principle. And let me tell you what that formula is so you can write this in your notes. It is, um, you can kind of write it like this, force. Or you can write all this out if you want. I'm just going to write the abbreviation. So we have force. We have our input force. So force in is going to be over the input area. So because uh, pressure is how much force over a, an area, that's where we kind of get this. And so we have area in, so we have our input area. And we have our output force. So this is force out over area out. And so we're going to use this to solve problems that kind of have to do with a hydraulic lift here. So if we're Remember Pascal's principle is um, that pressure exerted through a fluid is transmitted through that fluid. So if we're looking at a hydraulic lift, like in this problem, it says a hydraulic lift is used to lift a heavy machine that is pushing down on a 2.8 meters per second. So if you see meters per second, you know that's talking about area. Platform with a force of 3,700 newtons here, or 3,700 newtons. So, and then what is the force exerted on a 0.72 meters per squared area piston to lift a heavy machine. Um, so if this hydraulic lift is used to, heavy, to lift a heavy machine, pushing down on it, so this would be the output side. So 2.8 and 3,700 are on the output side. So we have 3,700 over uh, 2.8 going to be equal to, this is our area in, so that would be 0 0.072 on this side over F in. So now we're just going to cross multiply, so we're going to multiply that times that, and then this one times that one. So in this case we get 2.8 times F in equals so and so whenever you multiply this this is going on one side of the equal sign this is going on the opposite side of the equal sign doesn't matter which side uh, really you put it on and then we have let's see we have 37 hundred times point zero seven two that's gonna give us two hundred and sixty six point four it's going to be equal to 2.8 times our fn so we still have this on our side on that side so now to do that since we have multiplying in between here we're going to divide both sides by 2.8 to move it to the other side and so this cancels out we're just left with fn on that side our our input force so we have f Sorry, I'm doing this kind of crooked. N equals 95.14 newtons on that side. So that's our final answer. So pretty simple. That's how we're going to do uh, use Pascal's principle formula. I want you guys to solve this one at the end um, and put it into your answer on the on the uh, underneath the survey. All right, I'll see you in class. Thanks.